think, I think I'd be very confident on that. Um, I suppose there are a couple of questions. One is, I think it's been suggested from some of the submissions, but the direction of travel at the criminal bar, and, and the same question applies to solicitors, if it's affecting as well, are we seeing, and anecdotally I see that said, that there is a drop-off of people practising crime, um, either people don't go into it, full stop, or if they go into it, they, they don't stay in it, or they have a mixed practice for a number of years, and then, you know, I think that traditionally, now, there may be an impact with the CCJ being a little bit away from the four courts as well, you know, I'm told in days of old, you'd run from a jury trial to a defamation trial, and back again, both have juries, so we'll keep juries, if, if this committee is its way, but that's a separate, <laughs> maybe separate point, but, so I know there's maybe a separation there now, but down the you know, on circuit that would not be the case, because obviously civil and criminal are going on upstairs and downstairs and everything else, but is that, you know, I suppose the question is, to all the witnesses, uh, or all that want to comment on this, to what extent is that seeping through to practice? Is that really having a detrimental effect on the numbers available to, to take instructions, be that defence or prosecution? Um, that's the first question. Maybe let's start with that, actually, because I have a couple of other questions. Um, Mr. Martin, and I know we haven't, you haven't got in yet, so I'm going to take you, yes. and then I'm going to take Ms. Field, and, and then anyone else that wants to um, comment. Mr. Martin, I yeah, can speak with well, well, lived sorry. experience in relation Great. to this. I yeah. no longer practice <coughs> in criminal law, right. because it's just not economical for okay. me to do so. Okay. Um, we've been discussing um, the restoration of fees. The problem is efficiency as well. If you mm. go down to the district court, mm. barristers in the district court provide the efficiency to generate the cases through the courts, starting like triage in the district court. Mm. But if barristers are not getting paid, like myself, are not getting paid enough, mm. they're leaving. I've left. Are not getting paid at all. Are getting paid. I'm, Hands up! I had to threaten the revenue on on a okay. solicitor firm because they wouldn't pay me. Mm. So my lived experience yeah. is yeah. barristers cannot afford to stay in the district court. Yeah. And you're right. If it was in the four courts, and anecdotally I've been told, you would get briefs of colleagues who mm. would hand you a brief because they were too busy. Mm. But they separated it. Mm. We're all in the CCJ mm. or the four courts. Mm and you don't get the handovers. Mm, mm, mm. So it limits the amount of earning potential that a, a young barrister yeah, can have. Yeah, for mixed practice. So, yeah. Like what other profession would have a, a barrister leaving the four courts and going down to a restaurant to work as a waiter or a waitress or a bar? And that's the reality for these. I was blessed that I have a pension from another profession that I can afford to stay. But even at that, it just became, I was, my pension was subsidising the free legal aid scheme because I was working in the yeah. district court for nothing. Yeah. So it's it just not um, tenable. And I see um, taking head 19 of the bill, at uh, section seven, where a, a solicitor could make a written application for counsel it could, if that written word was taken out, he could make an application to court for counsel in the district court because there's not enough criminal uh, solicitors practicing. Uh, I got a text last night from a criminal solicitor who's given it up. It's only economical for him. So okay. they're having a problem. They're using barristers mm. to shore up their offices. Is it affecting both professions? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, okay. most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. But if they could make an application, for barrister to the court, yeah. oral application, yeah. and the barrister gets paid directly by okay. the system. Under the proposed scheme. We would solve the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go